And now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. It was a beautiful day out on the beach. If you had the chance to check it out, we see Sandy Beach, a shot submitted by Felice, one of our viewers, Mahalo, for submitting this. Now, looking at what we have on our weather threat, we have our oceans at a monitor. Our jellyfish are visiting us in the south facing shores for the next couple days, so be aware of that. The ocean conditions is moderate because we have a small craft advisory from the central towards the eastern portion of the state, more the central area, at least until tomorrow evening at 6, while the east portion of the state is pushed up until Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And that's because we have these breezy trade winds coming through, which is keeping things a lot more comfortable than it has been. <laughs> now, looking at the rain, we don't see significant rainfall. We have seen uh, some passing showers, in particular over the midnight into the early morning areas, uh, early morning hours for some areas, in particular for Kauai um, in the higher elevations, Mount Waiale Ali, along with North Wailua. But for the most part, the rest of the state is fairly dry. Now, these trade winds are being uh, generated by this high pressure system them far towards the north of the islands and that's creating these moderate to locally breezy areas that will increase a little bit tomorrow to about 25 mile per hour sustained winds into Monday but starting Monday evening into Tuesday this high pressure system will weaken and will push farther away from the islands towards the northeast so that's going to result in lighter trade winds and that's going to be again from Tuesday lasting throughout the week into the weekend we're going to see about 15 mile per hour sustained winds into the weekend from that point on now with that that means we're not going to see as much windward and Malka showers because most of the moisture we're seeing is really just being brought in with the trade winds. Once that happens, we are going to start to see daytime heating, which could increase showers and cloud coverage for leeward sides, in particular for the Kona coast of Hawaii Island. But other than that, we're going to see fairly dry conditions, a lot of blue skies outside. Now, in the East Pacific, we do see this tropical storm start to diminish within the next three to four days or so, possibly five days. But it's in the Atlantic where we're seeing a lot of um, things taking place. We also have that tropical storm Dorian that will be strengthening into a hurricane and we'll see how that progresses. Sam, back to you.